today I'll be showing you Single Foresight View Tool, which is an upcoming software product that allows you to visualize, annotate, report, and manipulate uh, three-dimensional or volumetric ultrasound volumes. This supports the NVIDIA 3D vision technology, so a user is actually able to put on the shutter glasses and interact with this volume in real 3D. Kaspersky Lab is uh, the fourth largest uh, anti-malware company in the world. So that basically means that uh, we fight uh, viruses and spam and all that stuff. What we are showing today is a Tesla implementation of what we do in the virus lab. Today we see hundreds of thousands of new files every day, about 50,000 of them uh, malware files. All these malware files, they are like small uh, deviations of what we've already seen. And uh, using CUDA, we've seen a huge performance increase over what we had previously. And this allows us to react more quickly to new threats and categorize them more efficiently. I'm Vice President for Sales for MUV Technologies. Uh, we've got a product here called Reveal. And uh, with that, you could uh, transform your pictures and videos uh, into a cool, professional-looking uh, video clip. And right now, we are making a preview of the production. And with CUDA technology, this can enhance. The preview is fast, and we've got a full HD uh, quality right there. We're here showing our new media show, 5.1, with photo face detection. So you just come here and click Tag Faces, choose the uh, Enable CUDA support, and you'll get an accelerated version of that process. And then it'll very quickly run through your whole photo library and for each photo, it'll find all the faces in the photo. Uh, that's CUDA accelerated photo face detection. And we're showing a pre-release version of Power DVD 3D uh, capable of playing the new forthcoming 3D Blu-ray format. So 3D Blu-ray is like playing two Blu-ray discs at the same time. Uh, but the latest generation of GeForce graphics allows us to do that in the graphics card. So we have very low CPU utilization. Uh, we're showing a 3D visualization of our EM simulator. So you can actually uh, put on these very nice 3D glasses and visualize uh, your uh, high-speed board or package simulations in full 3D. So this is a normal view. And uh, if you zoom in here and you take a look, you can see that it's very hard to distinguish between uh, which traces are routed on the top, which ones are, are on the bottom, and, uh, and really figure out uh, which one is cl closer to you, farther away. Uh, you do not have that depth perception. Now what the 3D vision enables is to look at this uh, in a very nice full 3D effect uh, that allows you to get a lot of insight uh, into the problem uh, which you couldn't see before. This is an experimental playback engine called the Mercury Playback Engine, uh, which we've got cooking in the labs right now. Uh, it's fully 64-bit, it's multi-core optimized for the CPU, and one of the reasons I'm here today uh, at the NVIDIA CUDA today is to talk about the, uh, the GPU uh, optimization that we've added uh, to just really enhance and increase performance. Now this particular timeline, we've jumped resolution dramatically. This is actually running at full 4K by 2K resolution. Combining the new 64-bit uh, multi-core capability in uh, the Mercury engine with the GPU acceleration with the effects, you can see that we're utilizing all of the cores to their maximum potential here, and we're getting really nice solid playback, even with the, uh, the blur effects being applied to these background layers and the keying going on in the 4K clip. Uh, basically our specialty is in making software that does very fancy video enhancement. This, this technology is called Super Resolution and it's based on this multi-frame analysis. But we've adapted this technology into two products. One, uh, kind of the obvious application on the forensic side. So it's in software called Ikena, I-K-E-N-A, that we sell to law enforcement, uh, intelligence agencies, and also to uh, military. And their use case is getting videos from unmanned aerial drones. And often, when they've got these little birds way up in the air getting buffeted by winds and they're zooming into an object, uh, that's really far away on the ground, or in this case in the water, this is a very typical uh, artifact you see is this nasty, nasty shake. So for 
the military folks we send to, it's an important use case for them to take a live stream that they're getting from this UAV, from this drone, and be able to enhance it in literally in real time with incredibly low latency.